The requirements in relation to management review in ISO 27001 are succinctly set out on page 9 of the standard. There are nine elements in relation to management review uh, and they're all set out point by point in ISO 27001. But it's important to understand what is the management review function. This isn't the day-to-day -day operation of the ISMS. This isn't a weekly or monthly meeting. The management review frequently occurs once a year, maybe twice a year. And it's when senior management in the company or in the organization stand back and look at the ISMS from a strategic perspective. They look to make sure it's still working for the company, it's actually adding value, and it's using the resources and the time that's appropriate for the organization. In other words, you're looking to make sure that the ISMS is actually providing benefit to your organization. And that's what the management review is about. Under management review, there's two sections. One's called review input, and the other's called review output. Review input tells you essentially the things that you need to consider in that meeting. And a tip for any organization is to take those nine points, put them down in a, as an agenda item for your management review meeting, and you really can't go far wrong. The review output is ideally what you should be finding at the end of that meeting, what the meeting should be concluding on. And again, if you're looking at the minutes of your management review, and you can tick off each of those items that are listed under the standard, then you've got it right. The ISO 27001 standards says that uh, management reviews should be held at least once per year and you know that, that's a mandatory aspect but it's up to each individual organization what's appropriate for itself so because the standard says one year doesn't mean you do it one year once per year and no other time um, some organizations have seen that they do it on a monthly basis and they make it part of their general management performance review and involve other systems as well um, some organizations would have it quarterly and they'd have a quarterly reporting mechanism in the organization as well. It all depends on the size and the style of the organization and the amount of people involved. Um, the key thing to remember though is that the management review, if it is integrated in with other management system reviews and other business reviews, is that it does meet the requirements of the standard and that you take account of what the standard says about review inputs in terms of you know this is what the agenda of your meeting is going to be and then the review output stands and this is what we're going to report upon and this is going to be the input to the rest of the year. It all comes back to the plan do check act cycle that's a common factor in all ISO standards that management review is integral to that in that it's your chance to stand there take a snapshot on where you've been in the year and what you plan to do in the year ahead.